this guys, is when you start. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Delayed. How many days have we done this? And she just did that. She didn't know I was going to do it. I was going to say, hey guys, I'm Pastor P here with the 25 days of Christmas from the Action Bible. All right. And we are on day 21. <gasps> Look, the young astronomer. Ooh. Is it astronomer or astronomer? Oh. Astronomy. Astronomer. What right. is astronomy? That's not the one like in the Bible where it talks about have nothing to do with people who look to the stars. That's astrology. We want nothing to do with that. But astronomers are people who study the stars and the, the sky and everything. So if you look in the picture, look, it looks like diamonds in the sky. That is what they are. They're right there. Love you can that. see them right there at the top. Oh. So, like literal diamonds. Yeah. And They're like really shiny. Sky. That's what they look like. And look at the people. I can't see their faces. Why can't I see their faces? I don't know. Let's find out what it is. So this is coming from the view of a young astronomer who's looking up, learning about the sky and the stars. It says, I'm going to Israel, me, an apprentice to the Magi, just a kid is what he's saying, who is still just learning. I still can't believe it. Last night, I was on the roof of the Magi's tower, gazing at the stars like we usually do. And I saw the most bizarre thing in the sky. It looked sort of like a blazing planet. It was the second time I had seen it. No one else saw it last time. I'm pretty sure it's a sign. Here's your sign. Like a stop sign? No, like a sign from God. Oh, mm. so I went running to fetch my teacher to come and see it. But who do you think should be visiting the Magi's Tower but our new king Ooh. with the Queen Mother? Ooh. I thought I would be in trouble for running and yelling. Happened to me all the time. Mm -hmm. But the king... Really? I didn't say anything. They didn't deny it. But the king wanted to see the sign too. So we all went to the roof. Our ruler agreed it might be a sign from the gods... Obviously, they didn't worship the one true God. Lowercase To case. celebrate his becoming a king. But my teacher explained that it had to be for the king of the Jews in Israel. Some old prophets, Daniel and Balaam, had predicted that one day a very special king would be born to Israel. And when he was born, a new star would arise. Whoa. Oh. At first, our king was disappointed the sign wasn't for him, but then he became excited too. He wanted to gather some camels right then and go to, go to greet the, the new king. He wanted to gather some camels right then to go and greet this new king. If Israel's God could make new stars appear, then he wanted to be friends with that whole country. Maybe their God would look for kindness on his kingdom. But the queen mother said it was too dangerous for our king to make that kind of journey without a large group for protection. And that showing up with all these soldiers, it might accidentally start a war. He agreed. And then I could see an idea forming in his mind. He looked right at me with a big smile on his face. Ooh. So now I'm part of this group of wise men heading west to Israel to take some royal gifts to this new king. Bags of gold and rare spices, and the most expensive perfumes. My teacher is coming too, along with many others. We'll be gone for months, but who knows how long. I'm excited. Who could this king be? Well, we know who the king is. It is baby Jesus, the savior of the world, the king of kings being born in a stable, and there's gonna be this star, and it's gonna lead these wise men, the magi, all the way to Bethlehem, where Jesus was being was born. So, I wonder then what's tomorrow if they're going there uh, and they're following. Uh, what tomorrow is it's the star, not to be confused with movie on the lawn showing the star. Ooh, come see that too. We showed it. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. So, all right, peeps, Pastor P, I will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.